Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Blinded by the Light from 2019. It's directed by Gurinder Shada and stars Vivia Kovra and Kolvinder Gear. This film is about a young man who struggles to find his voice as a writer and is creatively awakened and more one night when he hears Bruce Springsteen for the first time. I gotta say that the boss doesn't speak to me like he does to Javed in this film. Amy Mann is more my speed. And that's the beautiful thing that this film touches on eventually. That almost everyone has a singer that speaks to them, and even though those voices aren't the same from person to person, the important part is that we find the person that does it for us. That is a powerful moment when you hear the singer whose voice speaks to you. That moment is perfectly reflected in this film with the scene where Javed hears Bruce Springsteen for the first time. It happens during a big storm and it just helps drive the point home that it feels like the cartoons when an idea light bulb goes off over the head of a character. Only it's more. It's a goddamn bolt of lightning. Everything clicks and it feels like it's clicking for the first time. It's an awesome and profound moment that you spend the rest of your life chasing. In Blinded by the Light, Javed lets that moment blind him to the plights of everyone around him. Yes, it is important for him to venture towards becoming a writer, but he learns almost too late something that he announces in a school speech towards the end of the film. Nobody wins unless everybody wins. And so he does what he can to lift up those around him as well, and if he can use his creative talents to do so, then so be it. We unfortunately don't see much of that in play, but he does resolve to do it, which feels like enough of a win. The real big problem with this film is it exists in two worlds. It has one foot clearly planted in reality and the other foot in full-on musical territory, with even two musical sequences to show for it. And as much as I would have loved this film to be a fully-fledged musical, at the end of the day I realized that it being in two places at once is really just a way to drive home the message of the film, which is somewhat similarly put. But come on, how awesome would it be for this film to have been an unabashed musical? It could have been very cool. I'm going to give Blinded by the Light a B plus because it's a good movie with a lot of heart. Tomorrow I watch another recent-ish film, this one a comedy starring the sublime Leslie Mann and the surprisingly hilarious John Cena called Blockers. See y'all then.